Lesson on superposition of charges for honors physics. The superposition principle. This is just a name for identifying the net force on a charge due to the presence of other charges. If we see here, we have this negative charge surrounded by two positive charges. That is, if I bring this negative charge in from outside and place it here, which way will it accelerate? Will it feel a net force to the left or a net force to the right? Well, that net force is going to be due to the amount of these charges and also the distance between these charges. Recall that force is a vector. It has magnitude and direction. That is, will this charge be accelerated this way or this way? A note of caution. Please refrain from putting the sign of the charges into Coulomb's law equation. That is, when you calculate the electric force between these charges, keep in mind that we're going to just define the force as being to the right or to the left. And typically we call, we'll call to the right as the positive direction and hence the left would be the negative direction. If you put the signs of the charges in your equation for Coulomb's law, then you're going to get directions of forces independent of what you defined up here as being to the right as positive. You'll see in our next example. Example number one of superposition. Let's take this positive two microcoulomb charge and place it at position zero. What's the net force on the two microcoulomb charge? In other words, if I place it here and let it go, will it accelerate to the right or accelerate to the left? In order to determine the net force on this 2 microcoulomb charge, we need to isolate it in terms of the other two charges. That is, what's the net force between the 2 microcoulomb charge and the negative 3 microcoulomb charge? And then what's the net force between the 2 microcoulomb charge and the 6 microcoulomb charge? So we'll have to do Coulomb's law twice. Let's denote these charges Q1, Q2, and Q3 for convenience in our calculations. Let's calculate the net force between Q1 and Q2. So here the electric force between Q1 and Q2 is K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th, times Q1, which is 2 microcoulombs, times Q2, which is 3 microcoulombs. The distance between Q1 and Q2 I'll call R12, and that's 0.5 meters squared. Complete this calculation, I got 0.22 newtons, which is to the right. That is, this positive charge will be attracted to the negative 3 microcoulomb charge. Let's calculate the force between Q1 and Q3, similarly. So here we have K times Q1 times Q3 divided by the distance between them, I'll call that r1 to 3 squared, where k is 9 times 10 to the 9th again, q1 is still q 2 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs, and now q3 is 6 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. They're separated by this distance of 0.8 meters, and we square that. This results in a net force of 0.17 newtons, which is to the left. That is, the positive 2 microcoulomb charge would be pushed to the left due to the positive 6 microcoulomb charge. Now let's define the positive direction as being to the right and the negative direction as being to the left. So we'll call this positive 0.22 newtons and negative 0.17 newtons. Now we can see that the net force on Q1 due to Q2 and Q3 together is the sum of these, or 0 0.05 newtons which is positive, meaning that's going to be to the right. Thus our 2 microcoulomb charge will accelerate in this direction and feel a net force of 0.05 newtons. Equilibrium. This is when the sum of all the forces acting on a charge is zero. That is, the net electric force on the charge will be zero. For example, if we have these two negative charges here and we bring in a positive charge, if they're the same amounts of charge, then I can put that positive charge directly in between these charges and it won't move to the left nor to the right. We would say that it would be in equilibrium and the force it would feel due to this charge would be the exact same as the force it would feel due to this charge. Let's take a look at an example of equilibrium. Example number two, equilibrium. 
Suppose we have this 6 microcoulomb and 15 microcoulomb charge separated by a distance of 2 meters. Where should we put a negative 2 microcoulomb charge so that when we let go, it balances and doesn't move? Let's think about this conceptually. Would we want to put it directly in the center? Well, maybe not, because this 15 microcoulomb charge will attract this charge more so than the 6 will. So we should probably put it a little bit closer to the 6 microcoulomb charge. Let's use Coulomb's law to determine what this distance is. Let's call this distance r between the 6 and the negative 2 microcoulomb charge, and then the distance between these charges would be 2 minus r. Additionally, we'll call this charge q1, this charge q2, and our charge in question for position q3. Let's set up Coulomb's law for the force between q1 and q3, and the force between q2 and q3. These two forces will have to be equal for this negative 2 microcoulomb charge to be in equilibrium. So the force of Q1 on Q3 will be K Q1 Q3 divided by R squared, the distance between those charges. The force of Q2 on Q3 will be K Q2 Q3 divided by 2 minus R all squared, that distance between those charges. Before I put numbers in, we can reduce this equation because K is on the both sides, so we can cancel that out and so is Q3, which is actually our charge in question. This reduces to 6 microcoulombs over R squared equals 15 microcoulombs over 2 minus R squared. We can also get rid of the microcoulombs since that power of 10 to the minus 6 is on both sides. We can now cross multiply and collect our like terms. That reduces to 6 times 2 minus R squared equals 15 times R squared. Actually, instead of multiplying this out and collecting like terms, it's easier to square root both sides. This more simply leaves us with the square root of 6 times 2 minus r equals the square root of 15 times r. Now solve for r. Now we see that r is 0.8 meters, so this negative 2 microcoulomb charge will be placed 0.8 meters away from the 6 microcoulomb charge, and at that point it will be in equilibrium and just remain there. It won't be attracted more strongly to either charge. Thank you for watching and see you in class.